every photographer should have one of these. And this is PowerVision S1. Hi, this is Jimmy Chang from Red35. Today, I want to show you one gadget that I think every photographer, especially if you're into travel and documentary. PowerVision is a brand that may sound alien to you, but I kid you not, PowerVision has been around for a while and they are the second largest drone manufacturer in the world. <laughs> well, you may think, what? I haven't seen one of their drones before. Well, that may be true because their drones are not something that you'd normally see. Well, at least in the UK anyway. And PowerVision makes industrial drones like the PowerEye using micro four third sensor and the PowerRay, an underwater drone. Yes, a submersible that allows you to see the world under the water. And the weird one like the Power Dolphin, a boat like water drone. And finally, the Power Egg. Well, a, a flying egg basically. So, this PowerVision S1 is their first ever device that is as weird as Willy Wonka and as clever as Einstein, aiming at everyone and anyone who is interested in photography and video techs. Yes, this sassy looking thing is apparently a Swiss army knife. First, it's a proper three axis gimbal for your smartphone with a built in tripod and a power bank that can wirelessly charge your smartphone and your camera via the USB-C. The reason I said the S1 is a little gadget that every photographer should have, well, I know you all have a proper camera, but if you say you haven't used your smartphone for some snaps or even some video clips, you will be lying. And smartphones are convenient, and if you are creating a travel video to accompany your photography, then you'll be very familiar on what I'm about to say. Over the years, there are many iterations of gimbals and the past couple of years, well, have been pretty boring to say the least. So fast forward a few years and we have this, the S1. And I think this little gadget can help any photographers who may have the same mindset as me, visual documenting his or her photographic journeys. And you don't need to be a full-blown video guru as most smartphones are pretty capable these days for short clips here and there, and the S1 just brings that little bit of extra and give you a more professional looking results and provide extra features that enhance your digital life. Instead of the usual and boring folding gimbals, the PowerVision S1 is a transformer. In its transit mode, like this, it's a full feature 1000 milliamp power bank that is capable of 10 watt wireless charging for your phone or other compatible devices. It also has a USB-C port that can pump out 18 watts for other quick charge devices, including your camera, if it supports USB-C PD charging. In a gimbal mode, it has enough juice for a full 15 hour operation, or less if you want to charge something else via the USB-C at the same time. And just a note though, the charging output will reduce to 5 watts if you use well, as a gimbal as well, because the power will have to be diverted to the motors, and the wireless charging is totally turned off. There is a built-in insect-like tiny little legs that makes the S1 capable of standing up on its own on a flat surface. But I would utilize its quarter-inch thread to connect to a gorilla pot or a tripod if I want a more elevated view. For beginner content creators, I think the S1's Bluetooth mic support and AI follow mode are great features. While most accompany apps from major gimbal companies seem very capable in the video taking side, none of them is as slick as the PowerVisions app. The gesture control is instant and the follow feature is pretty accurate and you can also recompose to suit your needs while recording and this is pretty awesome. Better still, it offers Bluetooth audio support which is great to get better audio from compatible Bluetooth mic like the Sabina Tech Smart Mic Plus that I showed you before. However, the app has no control over the gain of the mic 
and if you use the PowerVision apps to record video and use the Bluetooth mic at the same time, you may find your audios a little bit too hot and clips very easily. To get around it, you have to use other video apps via the PowerFollow feature. PowerFollow is basically allowing the AI tracking to operate in the background while you're using other apps. Whether it's your native smartphone camera app, TikTok, Instagram, or any other streaming video platform apps that you would like to use, or even if you're a serious video guy, you may want to check out Filmic Pro, which also supports Bluetooth audio. Of course, a review won't be a review if everything is perfect. While this all-in-one solution seems cool, well, looks really cool, I do find the ergonomic of the S1 isn't the best, especially when it's unfolded in its gimbal mode like this. The squared off edges where you place your finger right here, you know, while you're holding the S1, can be a little uncomfortable if you're holding it for a longer time. While the motor is decent and can accommodate the largest and heaviest iPhone 13 Max Pro with the one right here without fully balanced, and yet it is not strong enough if you want to use third-party lenses if you have any. It is evidenced by the size of the motor housing when compared to other usual mobile gimbal. It's basically half the size. The tilt angle is also pretty limiting, especially tilt-up angle. If you don't believe me, just have a look at this. <laughs> this is basically it. It's about 15, 20 degree, if not less, really. But this is not an isolated case because many modern compact gimbals all have similar problems, all because of the design of the motor housing. So underslung or jib shots are basically impossible. There's also no vortex or inception mode where you can spin your phone 360 degree continuously. Then the magnetic adapter as the S1 is an universal product that supports basically any smartphone on the market right now, I would love to see it support Apple MagSafe for mounting and wireless charging. The magnetic clamp works fine and is pretty slim in profile, but you can't use any wireless charging with the clamp installed. If you take the clamp off, and also there's no way to store the clamp with the S1, so there's a chance you'll forget to take it with you and the S1 will simply become <laughs> Nothing but an overpriced power bank. Finally, the PowerVision app. As good as the AI-based power follow feature is, again, there are limited choice of frame rates in the app. Together with the aforementioned absence of Bluetooth mic gain control, the app is pretty much reserved for beginners and not for experienced users. And this seems counter to credit by including the Bluetooth audio support in the first place. And also, I would love to see the app include support for Apple Cinematic and Smart HDR modes. And that would be truly awesome. But this is more a selfish reason, so I wouldn't count against it. Overall, the PowerVision S1 is a genuine breakthrough in design and features. It's very close to being a perfect mobile gimbal. The execution can be a little better in the handling department, and the app should have more uh, functionalities and flexibility for more experienced users. And like many mobile gimbals I've reviewed in the past, most products already reach their optimal designs and I really can't see one can better other mechanically. So it's all down to the software. And apart from my aforementioned comment, PowerVision app is very well written, if a little lacking in controls, especially from the audio side. But it is among the best in terms of speed, usability, and intuitiveness. No fuss, and it just works. Will I recommend the PowerVision S1? Yes, absolutely, because there isn't anything on the market quite like it. But if you remember that, I also love the iSteady V2 for mobile vlogging because of its independent AI tracking module. But if you want to use the gimbal more than just for your smartphone, and if you want to have some emergency juice to top up either your phone or your camera, the PowerVision S1 is a more suited product and critically compact enough to slot into your camera bag or jacket pocket. And what do you think of this little gadget? Do you think it's cool or boo? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. And you know what to do now. Thumb if you like the video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, OM system. Peace. one of the good thing about follow feature is yeah follow mode right you know if I don't have follow 
So uh, if I move around, then the camera just wouldn't, yeah, it stays in the same place, so it doesn't really do anything. But if I start having tracking on, there you go. So like, even if I move around, I might change the hand, move a different angle, it will just follow me. So that's uh, a lot better for vlogging uh, because you always keep your face in the center of the frame. Of course, this is cool, right? And, uh, but you know, if you don't fancy the feature, you can always try to use your manual skill by doing that. Just keep touching the button, the navigation button to change the angle of the camera. Uh, but of course, you know, having this automation with the vlogging thing on is, is pretty, pretty sick, right? You know, and if you um, want to stop the tracking, where's your hand again and stops, right? See, this doesn't go anywhere now. You can also start stop video as well by doing an L shape, uh, a finger, finger gesture. And uh, so if I want to stop it, just like to do it now.